Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js Cognito. Today we are going to learn how to create user in Cognito with the help of the React.js. Also do the signing process, verify in the email. These three things or forget password also we are going to learn in this video series, right? So, so now I'm just going to tell you about how to create user in the Cognito, okay? so let's get started and if you know like how to create the user pool how to create how to get the user pool id and uh, client id so you have to watch my previous video related to it because i can't explain again on that one if you want then i can definitely do that you can watch the previous how to get the cognito user pool id and the client id i will let you know about this okay so let's get started those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's see what is cognito okay so here we have the cognito this is my aws account okay so this is the cognito okay and the, here we have the user pool id which you have to get it from this one okay then in the app integration you have the client id so you have to use this one okay so let's go to dive into the code level so which npm package you need to install amazon cognito identity js you need to install aws sdk these two packages we have to install okay on the your and on the react app next we have a sign up okay so you can just check the uh, directory structure right here we have a source source we have a cognito.js here we have a sign up sign in and index nothing more about it right so in the cognito.js here we have all the functions you can see that create user which we are working today okay so here we have we have we are just working on the create user functionality okay so this is the create functionality and this is the sign up okay so we are just working on the sign up process right so let's start let's see so here we have just initializes the react and the component from the react and the create user because we are going to create the user and the verify user in the next video to focus on the create user right so here we have the form first of all so here we have the form like sign up process okay and here you can see that we have the email we have the username and we have the password you can set it as a name also okay so name username and the password phone number is uh, like uh, i have already have the fields in this one if i go to the attributes right so here we have a sign up experience go to the attributes you can see that required attributes so make sure here you can see that my phone here's yes, phone number is there if you're not sending the attributes over here then definitely it will not going to register your account okay required attributes are e name email and the phone number so these are the parameters you have to send to the attribute list right otherwise you are facing the issue like uh, why the account is not created so make sure all these attributes while creating the user using the react should be there okay so here we go with this one so this is basically the form right so here we have a sign up form okay so let's handle the verify submit so this is basically the verification of the code that we have entered okay so here we have the on this or just only setting the states right so whenever you have input the field and you will just set that into the state level so when you use the submit okay handle sign up submit okay so this is the main thing so i'm just getting the username email and the password from the state right and here i just call the function create user which accepts the parameter username email and the password okay and then i will set that the currently show verification state to be true if it is verified right so if i go to the create user and here i have sent the my email phone number and the name because you can see that here we have the three attributes that is required so user pool dot sign up here i'm sending my email password and the attribute list okay and waiting for the callback right so this this will create the user right not verifying it okay so after this it will create the user and uh, after there will be a verification code right so let's check into the code this bora browser so here we have the email so i'm going to add any of the email of here like a test 556 at the rate millinator.com okay and here i'm just at the test um, 
89 username phone number i can add anything but by default i have set the uh, static you can see that you can make it dynamic by using get the from the state okay and here we have the password i need to set okay so here i have this is sign up okay it's asking me for the code to verify okay so let's go to the millinator millinator mail and i will receive the email of that one so what is the email i forgot the email i think test 901 or uh, i don't remember the email so let me logged in again test um 67 okay medinator medinator.com username test phone number anything you can add and this is your password you need to enter okay and just go with verify sign up okay so code test 67 okay verification code and just enter this verification code over this react app and it will verify okay success let's go and check the user is created in here or not reload this one and here you can see that where we have the user section and here test where is test 67 text 67 and you can see the confirmation state of email is confirmed right so we are going to learn how to get this one in the next video how to verify the code functionality in the next video okay so any doubt any query in that you can just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day